actually been like this week so since I went to the cheer trip. I have like four days of makeup work and I've done barely any of it. And I was gonna do it this weekend and now I'm doing it all in this study hall. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, poorly. I do all my homework first block the day it's due. Uh, <laughs> do not have the best work. I do all my projects the day before it's due. So I end up not doing it to the standard I probably should be. Um, <clears throat> so for my worst procrastination story, it would probably have to be the time I, um, I, can, or I started and finished my English final the day before it was due. Um, it probably wasn't the smartest choice, but I did get an A on it. The weirdest way that I've procrastinated. Um, I don't think there is necessarily a weird way you could procrastinate. Um, yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too <laughs> sure about that one. Well, the night before the AP World History exam, my freshman year, instead of studying, I ate plain pasta on the floor of my living room and watched raccoons fight on my deck. Um, I procrastinate on everything. Uh, this is when I do my best work. But I did write my entire national board over the course of spring break. So that was some epic procrastination. It was also due the Monday after spring break. <laughs> it was a lot of writing. So that, that's probably my most proud, most frightening procrastination. Um, whenever I'm procrastinating, I usually clean the house. My husband always knows when I have a lot of stories to grade because the house is really clean. Um, and I don't mean just like straight in the house, like I alphabetize the spice rack or I arrange my closet in the order of Roy G. Biv. Um, it's some pretty specific procrastination techniques I have. So procrastination for me has made school a lot um, harder in the fact that like I don't really study for tests as, I, as much as I should and I, don't, I kind of put my homework off. But when it comes to track for me, like I put a lot of effort in and um, I really focus on doing what I need to do when I'm at practice. But like I said, for school, eh, don't really try as hard as I should. <laughs> um, with my work ethics, procrastination, I get behind. And then when I notice like the deadline's coming around the corner, I try to cram all of it together at one time. So I had a really big paper due like a month ago. And instead of doing the paper, I binge watched all the Barbie movies on Netflix and Hulu. It used to affect it poorly, but I've changed it and I get everything due on time. Projects are due as soon as I get them or they're done as soon as I get them and homework is always done the night before. Actually, it kind of makes me a little bit more creative and uh, entertaining sometimes, teacher, when uh, I've had big lesson plans that I have spent, you know, days on, weeks on sometimes. They don't usually end up, and I think a lot of it is the, the, the planning kind of hinders my creativity. So, um, like I have a tendency to be kind of the queen of procrastination to the point to where um, that's where I think the best. I, under that time crunch, all that pressure, and I actually come up with more creative ideas that um, I normally would not if I've got like advanced time to plan. So it's kind of a um, one of those character traits that has actually morphed into something kind of constructive. <laughs>